What is going on guys? This is Benny here. So in today's video, we are going to be playing the 2v2 touchdown game mode. Yes, my shirt kind of changes colors due to the lighting. <laughs> Actually, no, it's the new edition. Shirt color, cha shirt changing color shirt or whatever. Just kidding. Uh, but guys, we if you notice the background, we're basically, if you didn't know, if you're just new to the channel, we are, um, we're moving out soon. Having a house built. And started packing up some things. And it's, this is going to be the setup for the time being. So I apologize if you missed all my bit whatever they were uh posters pictures and everything else i mean the the bench behind me is still there with like the boom beach thing but it is what it is so just just a side note there but let me know guys now that you've been able to play the challenge now okay i'm gonna rank some cards for you tell you what cards are the best in here and you guys can give your input as well but i'm gonna tell you guys something the touchdown mode is super, super fun. I hyped it up a bunch, but I want to know your feedback now that you've been able to play it. What do you think of it? it? Was I being a little bit too optimistic, like with how good it is? I don't think I was. I think this is a super, like a super, super fun game mode. <clears throat> That's my personal opinion. Let me know down below if you agree or not. Uh, and then the other thing I want to say is, why the heck is the Hog Rider in this game mode? Didn't Clash Royale specifically say they took the Hog Rider out? <laughs> Because it was too good, and then they must have changed their mind, like, right before the update. And I know my shirt's changing colors. I see it, guys. I can see it in my webcam view. <laughs> I'm sorry if it annoys you. Um, but I don't know why they changed their mind to put the Hog Rider back in. The Hog Rider is too good. Unless, like, the the opposing team is just stacked with, like, defensive buildings. Like, right here would be a tough tough match for the Hog Rider because there's the, um, the Barbarian Hut and the, uh, the Tesla. But, like, why? That's the only case is if there's a bunch of defensive buildings. Like that thing, pair that with like a fireball or a lightning and, and uh, like a on point, or not on point, but like pinpoint team team play where like they can stack like arrows with it or whatever. The Hawk Rider is too good in this game mode and you guys know what I'm talking about. So that Hawk Rider is like tier zero. It's the best card, hands down. I feel as though Supercell is going to make a change with it and take it out. That's just honestly my personal opinion on that. And the Battle Ram. Now I'm going to get into like tier 1 cards, which are like a, a step below the Hog Rider. But it's going to be like the Battle Ram. I'd even throw in most of the spawners in there. Guys, it's very fresh. I'm on one right now on this challenge too, but we don't need to talk about that. Um, it's very frustrating to see like when the spawners are super good in this game mode. I suggest taking spawners, whether that be the Tombstone, whether that be the Furnace, whether it be the Barbarian Hut, Goblin Hut. I suggest taking those over most of the defensive buildings. Like, if it's an option between, I don't know, let's say a Goblin Hunt or a Bomb Tower, I'm going to take the Goblin Hunt majority of the time because, the like, dude, uh-oh, this is not looking good. I'm going to throw it on the P.E.K.K.A. Um, because, like, it's, the Goblin Hunt, man, it's, it's just too good. Like, I, that's all I can really say. Like, the spawners, you, the reason why they're so good because basically you have to always account for whatever they're spawning because otherwise nothing else is going to take them out and that's what makes them so deadly and uh this is not looking good for us not looking good for us whatsoever <laughs> got a golem uh oh this this right hand side push is very scary very very scary we got the the golem and the balloon bearing down on us but yeah so i put those up there the lumberjack is like tier two maybe it's really really fast basically any fast card is super super strong as well like even the cannon card is kind of sneaky as well um balloon hard to stop it's a similar thing with the hog rider but it's slower the thing with the hog riders is just too fast that's my opinion on it where's my where's my pekka man i need the pekka in this situation badly <laughs> So we're gonna be going to overtime, and my P.E.K.K.A is at the bottom of the battle deck for overtime for this freaking golem. Now that's not fair. And it feels like a double elixir is a lot slower. Like, in, for whatever reason in this game mode. That's my personal opinion. But we're somehow, we, shut, we somehow shut down this push, man. Don't know exactly know how. Sadly though, like, oh no. Uh oh. It's not gonna look good over on this side. Got the arrows. Awesome. Oh, dude, I'm gonna throw it on this and just zap everything. The freeze, dude, is too good. It's too good. Electric wizard slow it down. Oh my god. 
Don't know, dude, that was clutch. Electro Wizard just saved saved our game right here. But we got a nice push on the on the right hand side. Gonna get negated by that. Carla calling me. Jeez, why is cellular activated on this iPad again? You guys know I had troubles with that in the last video. Like, I swore it, it's the, the buttons clicked off. How is this still being used as my phone? Through Apple or whatever. I have no idea. Well, we have the giant skeleton over there. Um Hmm. Pekka gonna be coming in, but they do have the freeze. Keep that in mind. And then we got these this bandit doing the dirty things over there. So they're gonna freeze over here. I'm oh no! No 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 no! No! We lost to a golemite! Oh my goodness guys! That was intense! We gave it our best shot. We are stronger together. <laughs> it's our destiny to lose. <laughs> oh man. Well, that sucks. Still trying to get a win. But those are my ranking for the cards mainly. I know I didn't talk over everything, but I'd say like the balloon, battle ram, anything really like the lumberjacks in that conversation. And then you like for heavy hitters like Golem, and the giant and everything, I'd say it's but oh, I should've took the zap there. He gave him the Inferno Tower. That's my bad, teammate. Sorry, J Dude. Uh, this is gonna be a heavy battle, like whatever. And I'd say like heavier stuff is good. It is very strong. But it's like not good until double elixir. Because it's so hard. Because if uh, for whatever reason it just feels like elixir is so slow in this game mode for the things. I think it should be double elixir the entire time for the touchdown game mode. That's my personal opinion. I think it would make a lot, basically a lot funner. I know funner is not a word, but I can still say it. <laughs> I think it would make the, I think it would make it more interesting. And we do have the cannon card. I know I mentioned the cannon card a little bit. Cannon card is a sneaky fast card. And if they don't take care of it, we got both of these battle ram and the cannon card. All right, all right. But they do have the Pekka to stop this. See the cannon card still alive. Yes, they stopped it, but. It made them force, it forces their hand to use elixir on it. So that's what's awesome about it. And does JD really have anything? Uh, three musketeers. So I'll try to maybe slow it down with the ice golem here. Ooh. If I could go in with something right now, I'll throw the defensive mortar. If I had my cannon cart or battle ram, I would so go with the three musketeer push right now. I'm gonna have to actually zap those, otherwise they would've took care of the mortar. Are they just leaving the three musketeers? Oh, they got the rocket. Oh, that was so close. We, we got him to waste a zap and a rocket though. So that's gonna give our golem. We can we can we can push around the golem right now. As long as we like, I got throw on the mega knight, dude. I got throw on the mega mega knight golem push. Are we doing this? This is gonna be a this is a really risky. I don't know why they're not dropping anything. Maybe they're they're low on elixir or they just gave up. I'll take a give up at this point, <laughs> to be completely honest. <laughs> Gotta get them victories, man. Um, I'm gonna actually preempt the arrows over here, just to slow that down. Ooh. All right. So I don't know if only one person's playing, or they just, or what really happened. <laughs> but we got the, we got, we got the, we're, we're off to a lead. That's all I care about. Um. Here, we'll do... No, they're, they're definitely both playing. So, they got the Hog Rider. Ooh. I'm gonna have to distract this with the Mortar. J-Dude's not playing now. What is this? Is it like Clash Royale legging out our opponents? Oh, this is... This is a nightmare. Come on, J-Dude. Ah, get back, man. Come on, teammate. Get back. Please drop something. My climate left the match. Should have told me that last round. Okay. Well. Um. I don't really know what to. I'm on my own. <laughs> um. Yeah. I'm out here on an island. J dude, you left me for dead. Uh, there's no way. I know. I, I know. I could have saved the arrow. Oh, I could have saved the arrows for the minion horde. But dude, there's no way I'm gonna stop all this stuff. Oh god. I gotta. I either has to choose to stop that or the balloon and. J-Dude, you did the dirty. 
you, you left me for dead, man. So maybe I was wrong, like, in their teammates not playing. It was just ours not playing. What? We got round four? Oh, now he rejoins with two seconds left. I say this every time. Almost every time. If you're playing Clash Royale, plug in the phone. It's okay. I'm just a little salty that we lost. Because now I'm, now I'm what? Am I done with this challenge? Did I lose two in a row? We'll go up here weak when you're strong. I guess we can go with that. Now my life has meaning. <laughs> now I have to win. Restart this challenge. Oh. Oh, that hurts. Opening the zero win chest. Touchdown challenge. Not going well for me. Ah. <sighs> Gotta get a victory here, though. Gotta turn it around. Teammates, disc like disconnect disconnecting, phone dying, mom yelling at them to go to bed. I don't know what else, ex like, what, what are the other common excuses you hear when someone leaves the matches? Um... I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Ooh, this is a good, this is a tough choice because it's, you go for the upside with the golem for double elixir, but the hog rider is like the best card, but he gave them, like that was the situation I was talking about. I would personally take the furnace over the bomb tower because you you constantly depending where it's placed you constantly always have to worry about the 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 the, the, the spawners like their spawners are too good guys and i i'm seeing it a lot and i'd say change your perspective on the spawners because they always spawn down that lane and it requires your enemy to always drop something at least always drop something and i have the nasty combo i have the lightning hog rider this is if they see that. I'm gonna actually lightning this, and it's gonna be GG. Like, that's what I'm talking about. Right there. That is not fair. That should not be in touchdown. <laughs> at all. I don't care whether that was a fireball or anything, that was not getting stopped. It's... The Hawk Rider needs... I tell, I'm telling you, it's the best card. <laughs> Pair that with something like that, it's too good. It's too good, man. Um, the prince is up there as well as one of those, like the, the, the dark prince. Ooh. Ooh. The minion horde's gonna be nasty. Alright, well now they're all kind of like focused on that side. I'm gonna wait till I have 10 elixir again. Actually, I don't think I can. Ah. Uh. Um. I was gonna say, I'm gonna wait till I have 10 elixir again to throw on my hog rider combo. But, does he have anything for this ar lone archer? No, I have to drop something. Okay. Well, throw a spear goblins over here. Kind of missed my opportunity because we're not really in double elixir. And Master Riley's battle deck is extremely heavy. And now we have to worry about these skeletons. Come on. Oh. Oh. So frustrating. So frustrating that his battle axe so heavy that like that's what I'm saying. Like say there was a tombstone and those skeletons kept coming, they win games, man. It's it's, it's very very interesting. I'll start off with an expo, and I'm actually gonna push the hog rider on the right hand side. Actually, I'm gonna do it on the left hand side, but I need to wait till I I can throw it down right now. Oh, cannon cart. Oh, I'll go, I'll go this side. Got my lightning fairly soon. I don't even care. It's gonna be GG to that. Like, how do you stop that? There's nothing you can do. <laughs> oh my god, man. The, like, I got my shirt fully changing colors on here. It's like a chameleon shirt, man. Hog Rider. Supercell. It needs to be taken out. It needs to be. There's no way that should be allowed. <laughs> it's basically like a free win, almost. Okay, hopefully the wizard takes care of the balloon. Okay, that was close. That was a lot closer than I wanted it to be. Prince is gonna win for us? Oh, oh that was so close. Well, they have 30 seconds. And, um, well, expo down. I think this is a good hog rider time. Like, I, I, I'm gonna feel it. I've been very stingy on when I wanna play it. But I think I gotta use it right now. 
Oh, dang. Even though Lumber... Ooh, Lumberjack, how do you turn around after that? Oh, go, go, go. Oh, my God. The Lumberjack almost just cost us that match. We got the three crown. We got the win. I'm telling you guys. Oh, we need... We're, we're close to the touchdown quest. Okay, now let's see our winning. I've been waiting for this moment. Next time, I'll aim for the towers? No. Two is, two is more than one. That was close. Haha. -ha. <laughs> but all right, got our victory. Let's see. We'll do one more. We can. We can. We can do one more, man. Can't stop now. But do, do you see now why I feel as though like why why I felt the way I did earlier about the hog rider? I mean, man. Let's see something. Sorry. Seeing who's calling me again. Or I got a message, that's what it was, a voicemail. Okay, well I'll have to call Carla, call, 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 I'll call Carla back very, very soon. The can, this is a tough choice, cannon cart's really good. I love the cannon cart, but I need something to take care of the lava hound. And I'm gonna take the, the spawner. Even though the lightning tower is actually very, very, very good. Um, and then I'll take the poison. So I'm kinda, uh, I'm kinda iffy about my our, our selections here. But we do have the Battle Ram. Battle Ram is really solid as well. Not as good as the Hog Rider because like, I, like it still needs to destroy something. But we got two spawners. Can't really complain about that. And I'll throw the minions. Just can carts. Just so fast. So sneaky fast, man. It's just one of those cards. Uh oh, that's a bad call. Battle Ram's gonna go for the Cannon Cart. I totally forgot about that interaction. That one's on me. Oops. <laughs> My bad. It's our teammate. But alright, so now we gotta take care of this giant. The executioner. Um he's got a balloon. They do have the I forgot that I gave him the arrows. Well, the giant's gonna go down eventually. I hope. Wizard's doing wonderful things. Mmm. Mmm. <clears throat> plus plus in double elixir guys, if you have like a faster, kinda like fast it fast-ish cycle battle egg. like it's the the spawners you can just get them so like so many out and just keeps a constant flow of troops it's kind of ridiculous actually oh i didn't see the wizard behind that but the balloon's gonna get in come on come on yes buy a sliver so we got the first we got that first touchdown let's go fight oh i think if you hit the the ref or something. I think something happens. I think he says like ouch or something. I'm gonna I want to test that out, but I, I don't want to lose. <laughs> Maybe next round if we have like a two, a two, a two zero lead, I'll try it out. If I have like the poison, um, I'm gonna have to throw on minions over here. So, well, we're doing okay, better than I thought. See the barbarian hut almost went in, dude. Ooh. <laughs> That was close. That was so close. We'll do the furnace over here. All right, well they wasted the arrows. Okay. So I'll throw an aggressive princess, why not? Hopefully that hits the executioner. Oh, he moved at the last second. They got really lucky. The executioner doing some dodging moves, man. All right, we got the balloon coming in. I'm actually gonna poison. Poison right now. And that was gonna be a dumb clone. But it seems only one of their guys is no. Uh, Alright. What? How did that not go through? That was so lame. Come on. We got we got those barbarians still going. There's no way they stop that. Ooh, no way. Oh my goodness, dude. Come on, I wanna be up 2-0. Or at least get to the next round so I can try. Come on, Battle Ram. Come on, Battle Ram. You guys are... Come on, come on. The last second touchdown didn't even go through. Well. Well. That sucks. So, we didn't complete our quest either, but... It's okay. Still got the... Still got it done. Now we're 2-0. Now we get our golden chest. That's our first time getting two wins. Oh, man. 
So it's been a struggle out here. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you did. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let me know what you think of the touchdown mode and my like. What do you think of my ranking of the cards? Do you think I, I was pretty spot on? Or well, let me know what cards you really, really like in this battle or this game mode. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys later. And the and you like this shirt, right? I should wear it more often because it freaks out the eyes. <laughs>